This is just a small demonstration of uh, one trick that I use in terms of one tying um, onto a staple. Um, usually I'll put the cane on and it'll be straight on and then I'll just offset it so it's more like this angle here. Uh, once I clip it, the cane itself will pop back to um, this angle here and it will match basically what the, the staple um, in terms of its ovalness uh, um, it will match that. Um, another tip that I do in terms of when tying a reed on is the last three or two and a half turns I, I'm not going to use huge amounts of pressure or tension to close that reed. I, I, I don't want to um, squash that cane on. Um, if the gouge is good, the shape is good, and the shape matches the the staple itself, um, I shouldn't need huge amounts of pressure. As you can see below the, the last three turns um, to the left of, um, I guess, the, the tied area, you can see that underneath that um, it's tied um, with more pressure than the last three turns um, towards the, the cane itself. So I hope that uh, helps you in terms of tying your reeds and, and uh, that little tip of offsetting also um, helps you make better reeds.